next procedure I'm going to demonstrate is our photofacial treatment and we use the Estera PPX machine. Um, it is uh, basically using a suction and light to treat the skin called photopneumatics. So that, during the treatment I just put a little bit of water on the skin to keep it cool. The photofacial is really good for treating acne. It also is a good preventer of acne because it does shrink the pores. Usually people will see results in as little as three days and up to two and a half weeks. Prior to a photofacial, there are a few things that we would recommend. It is best to exfoliate the skin, don't have any makeup on, don't put any lotion on. You wanna come in with a fresh, clean face. If you've been recently out in the sun, especially for long periods of time, we would recommend not treating the skin. The photofacial is giving more light, more inflammation, more heat to the skin. So it's just gonna aggravate your skin if it's already irritated from sun exposure. It also puts you at a higher risk of getting burn from the photofacial because your skin's already irritated. This is the smaller tip, which is great to use on smaller little spots. There shouldn't be any pain with this, which is unique for intense pulse light treatments or IPL treatments. A lot of the machines are really painful, like a rubber band snap sort of sensation. With this machine, it, because of the suction, it doesn't have to hit so hard onto the skin with the light. It feels like a, a warm massage. This treatment also can slow the hair growth people have brown or black hair on their face. It's not as powerful as like a you know laser for hair removal, but it a lot of people do see a difference. People will feel it, their skin tightening. It can help with boosting collagen levels in the skin with the fine lines and wrinkles. Especially after a series of treatments, people are really gonna be able to see a difference. After a photofacial treatment, you do want to keep the skin clear of makeup. Because the pores are open, you're more vulnerable to get clogged pores and that kind of thing. So for about 24 hours, just keep your skin really clean. You would want to wear sunblock if you're going to be out in the sun. Your skin will be a little more sensitive after a photofacial. So being out in the sun for long extended of times, you really want to take precaution. In fact, we'd, we'd recommend that you not if you can avoid it for at least that first 48 hours after a photofacial treatment.